What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here. We got some breaking news for you guys in this video, including Hamas firing some rockets into Jerusalem, which many say could have or maybe will start World War III. I'll give you the details on that. Putin shares his demands for ending the war in Ukraine. I'll give you the details on that. Also, the autopsy reports in from Friends star Matthew Perry, and also what just happened to Rudy Giuliani. There's a lot for you guys here. Let's jump right in. Thank you so much for liking these videos. It helps YouTube to spread out these videos to more viewers so that they get to see this information. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. It's completely free to do so. Here we go. So, sirens triggered in Jerusalem following long-range rocket fire from Gaza from Hamas. You can see here from the Times of Israel, Hamas claims responsibility for rockets fired into Jerusalem, one said to fall near Ramallah Hospital. This is why Israel is saying that they can't stop the war because Hamas continues these type of attacks and Hamas has said repeatedly that they're going to continue these October 7th style attacks which they started the war at started the war from their music festival initial attack and um you know innocents and they still have the hundred some you know hostages these innocents and refuse to even release them all, and they're still doing these attacks, this one at Jerusalem, at the Holy Land. And reports are saying that the Iron Dome, Israel's rocket defense system, in alliance built with the United States, and the United States is helping them replenish um, the actual rockets that go up and shoot the rockets as well, that kind of get... Um, shot into them, that uh, they were shot down, but that these rockets were shot from Hamas directly at the temples and the churches and into the Holy Land at Jerusalem. So imagine if these were, if these were not shot down, these were the targets that they were shooting at. This is like the stuff that, you know, the Bible was written about and, you know, all the stuff that you read about in the Bible. This stuff could have all been destroyed, gone. So if it weren't for the Iron Dome, it's not an actual Iron Dome, but it's kind of the missile defense system. This stuff could have been destroyed. And many people are saying this would have started World War III. If you don't believe that we're in World War III now already, or the makings of it with the Israel-Hamas-Gaza war and the Ukraine-Russia war, and also the other countries that are involved in this stuff with Russia, uh, Hamas, Iran, and their proxies, um, which you know has a lot of other countries by extension in it, you know. So you can let me know your thoughts here in the comments. And um, this is why Israel continues to say that they can't stop until Hamas is eradicated because they're going to continue this type of warfare. And this is why a lot of people think that Russia is behind this stuff because Russia, it takes the eye off of Ukraine and Vladimir Putin's kind of sitting back saying this helps him in the war. This kind of brings up the next step here. Vladimir Putin shares his demands for ending the war in Ukraine. He said this here in an interview here, which he act with the public actually, which he rarely, rarely, rarely does. And what do you think he said? I'll show you here in a second, but let me know your thoughts here in the comments if you <laughs> have any guesses here. Here's what Russian President Vladimir Putin had to say. Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Moscow will not end its war against Kiev, Ukraine, until the country achieves its, quote, denazification, 
remember that you know a lot of them are Jewish. Remember that you know <laughs> Zelensky himself, the president of Ukraine, is Jewish, and his ancestors were actually in the Holocaust. But again, Russian propaganda will say whatever they want. So they will not leave until their country achieves denazification, demilitarization, which you have to ask Putin what that means. But what does that mean? No military at all, which could mean that this war could go on forever. And neutrality in Ukraine. Speaking at his annual end of year news conference in Moscow on Thursday, Kremlin leaders said that Russia will not budge on its demands and vow to only end its offensive in Ukraine if his goals are reached or if Kiev accepts a deal that achieves them, which basically means surrendering a large portion of Ukraine's land and people and resources to Russia, which then means that Russia will then put those people on the front lines of Russia's army, which they're actually already doing for the portion of lands that they control, believe it or not. Putin says the peace will come when we reach our goals that you have mentioned. He said while fielding questions from Russian media and the public, and coming back to the goals, they will remain unchanged. I will remind you it means denazification, demilitarization of Ukraine and its neutral status. This also comes here as Putin says he will seek another term as Russian president, aiming to extend his rule of over two decades. Let that sink in, guys. Of over two decades. This comes as Chinese President Xi also did the same thing, <laughs> uh, basically rewriting the rules. Take a look here. Vladimir Putin, 71, has twice used his leverage to amend the Russian constitution, change their constitution. So now he could theoretically stay in power until he's in his mid-80s. Wow. He is already the longest-serving Kremlin leader since Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin, who died in 1953. So Putin is just changing the Constitution so he can just stay in power until he dies or as long as he wants to stay there. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Rudy Giuliani ordered to pay $148 million to Georgia election workers for defamation. Wow. Um, that's a lot of money. And I don't think he has that much money. A federal jury on Friday ordered... Rudy Giuliani to pay over $148 million to two Georgia election workers for falsely claiming they co committed ballot fraud in the 2020 presidential election. This includes $75 million in punitive damages, along with over with awards of $20 million to each of the two election workers for emotional distress and more than $16 million each for defamation. Judge Howell in August issued a default judgment against Giuliani in the women's favor because he had repeatedly failed to comply with orders requiring him to turn over evidence to their attorney. Giuliani had previously had conceded that for the purposes of the lawsuit, he had made false statements about the women that were defamatory. Giuliani conceded this. So you can let me know your thoughts on this. Howell's ruling meant that the trial would only determine how much money he had to pay the women in damages. Giuliani had previously said at a Georgia Senate hearing after the 2020 election that Freeman and Moss at a ballot counting location had passed each other other USB flash drives like, quote, vials of heroin or cocaine as part of a scheme to defraud Trump of an election win. 
Moss later testified to Congress that she and her mother were passing candy. Friedman testified during the trial that after Giuliani made the claims about her and her daughter, they received nonstop threats and that they left her home for two months at the beginning of the 2021 at the recommendation of the FBI. One email sent to Freeman, according to evidence shown to jurors, said, quote, we are coming for you and your family. Miss Ruby, the safest place for you right now is in prison or you will swing from the trees. She wept on the witness stand saying, quote, it's so scary every time I go somewhere if I have to use my name. Also, the autopsy report has been released today for friends and beloved actor Matthew Perry here today, saying that um, he died of acute effects of ketamine. Medical examiner said drowning coronary artery, artery disease and the effects of an opioid also contributed to the death of the Friends actor who was found in a hot tub in October. Matthew Perry, the Friends star who publicly struggled with drinking and drug use for decades, died from the acute effects of ketamine, which is an anesthetic with psychedelic properties. So let me know your thoughts here in the comments. I'll keep you up to date here with everything going on on a daily basis. Thank you so much for liking and sharing these videos. And if you haven't yet, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. It's completely free to do so. New videos come out here every day at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Click here to see the Fed announcement that sent shockwaves to millions or click here to see the FBI public safety warning that they just issued. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in one of the next videos.